Dream to become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein? Learn physics from Rashid Al-Bari. Let's start today's remote learning with Do Now. I'm going to give you three metal spheres. These three metal spheres, they are touching each other. I'm going to call them X, Y, and Z. I'm going to bring the three, these three uh, metal sphere, they are now neutrally charged. This is scenario one. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw the scenario two. What is the difference between scenario one and scenario two? In scenario two, I'm going to have a positively charged rod. I'm going to have a positively charged rod very close to the sphere, positively charged. What is going to happen with this um, neutral metal sphere? Now pause the video and try your own. This is what is going to happen. All the negative going to come as close as possible and all the positive going to go as far that leaving all the positive as far that as possible. Electricity is a set of natural phenomena associated with electric charge. All right, this is electricity. Then, what is the aesthetic electricity? The static electricity. Is the imbalance of charges. So now the question I raise, and that is, how can you create the imbalance? How can you create imbalance? Well, that takes us all the way back to 6000 BC. Oh, we are taking you back to the Thales, the time of Thales. All right, Thales knew exactly how to create the imbalance of charges. He used the ember. In fact, electricity came from the word electron, from the word electron. Electron means ember. All right, so electricity came from the word electron Okay, so what is ember? Ember is a tree resin. People at his time, 6000 BC, long time ago, used to get the ember from the tree and they used to rub the ember with the cloth, making the ember negatively charged bending it close to the tree leaves and ember would be able to pick up the tree leaves now we can do it differently you can do it with a balloon if you take a balloon and if you rub the balloon against you here what would happen the balloon will pick up all the negative charges from you here creating the imbalance of charges on the balloon what can you do how can you demonstrate the imbalance of charges on the balloon? Well, if you can bring it close to the wall, 
the balloon will stick to the wall. That's how you can demonstrate that imbalance of charges allow the balloon to stick to the wall. Another way, you can, another way, you can show the imbalance of charges by binging misc salt and paper together, bring the balloon very close to the salt and paper. The balloon will pick up the paper, leaving the salt behind. Another way of showing the static electricity on the balloon. Okay, now, who is the first human that thought that there is a connection of static electricity and the electricity. Who was the first person who looked at the sky and thinking that it is possible to harness the power of God to light our houses? Who was the first person who looked at the sky and saw the lightning and said, oh my God, there is no difference between lightning and electric light. Who was the first person who envisioned that it is possible to harness the lightning to transform human life by creating a light bulb to light our houses? It was Ben Franklin, yes. Ben Franklin. So Benjamin Franklin was the first person who hypothesized that light, lightning, lightning is equal to electricity. All right, this is what his hypothesis. He also is credited for conservation of charges. What does, what does Charles, now let's take us back to charges. He was the first person who hypothesized that there are two types of charges, positive and negative. Positive, positive, recall, negative, negative, recall, and positive, negative, attract. He was the first person who also credited to the idea of conservation of charges, telling us that if you take a balloon and create some extra charges on the balloon by rubbing it against you here, then automatically there would be same number of uh, protons produced out there making it the net charge is zero, all right? The idea is crazy, but think of a conservation of energy. Conservation of energy tells us that you can neither create nor can you destroy the energy, but you can transfer from one form of energy to other form like potential energy to kinetic energy and vice versa. Conservation of charges tells us the same thing. You can transfer energy from one form to other, from your head to the balloon, and from balloon to the wall, but you cannot create or destroy charges. So he is also credited to the idea of conservation of energy. Now, what did we learn today? We learn about static electricity and its connection with the electricity. That what is the, um, uh, evidence of ele ele static electricity, lightning for example, is the evidence of ele static electricity we learned today and we uh, also learned that uh, Benjamin Franklin was the first person who ambition, uh, who make, who ambition that it is possible to harness the power of God to, uh, to, uh, to create the light bulb using the idea of static electricity in the sky.
All right, now I'm going to end today's uh, lesson with uh, an exit slip. Let's finish today's remote learning with an exit slip. If I have a spear, and the spear is neutrally charged, Now, if I being a positively charged object very close to the sphere, and if I if this positively charged touches, if this positively charged touches the sphere, then what would happen? Number one, the spear lose electron. Number two, the spear gains electron. The spear lose proton. Number four, the spear gains proton. Now pause the video and try your own. What happened? The spear will lose the electron. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.